Today we're going to be reacting to last meals of famous death row inmates. I, I don't really think I have to get explain the video because it, it, I just literally told you, you know what I'm saying. But before we start this video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let's get started. And we're one sub away on kick from eating the spiciest gummy bear on stream. Literally one. Link will be in the description. Let's get it. Fact that the next meal you ordered was going to be the last meal you ever ate, and you can have whatever you want. Would you go for your favorite comfort food, or would you try? If you had a last, oh wait, okay, okay, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause. If you had a last meal, what would you guys eat? Let me let me know in the comments. Try something fancy and expensive. Well, if you want some ideas, you've come to the right place because today we're going to take a look at the most elaborate final meals in death row history. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Weird History channel. No, After no, no, that, no, no. we'd be much Yerkes obliged channel. if you would you know leave a saying? comment and let us know what other true crime culinary okay, skip, skip. on May 10th, 1994. If you're the kind of person who's afraid of clowns, you may Ew. want to fast forward through this part. Because prior to becoming Three caught, in the Casey was known for performing Great. at charity events Three in the, the morning, names and we gotta listen Hogan to clowns. the Clown Great, guys. and Patches the Clown. This particular clown is known to have assaulted or ended the lives of young men who he lured into his home. He was finally arrested in December of 1978, and his punishment would be by lethal injection, which he was sentenced to in March of 1980. He would live the rest of his life at Menard Correctional Center, where he is said to have spent a great deal of time painting. Gacy's last meal included 12 fried shrimp, an order of french fries, a pound of strawberries, shrimp. and a bucket of chicken from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Original recipe. Come on, it's worth why not noting Popeyes, that prior bro? to being convicted, Gacy actually managed three KFC restaurants. So whatever else you might say about him, and you could say a lot, he was a man who believed in what he was selling. Alan Lee Tiny Davis. On May 11th, 1982, Alan Lee Davis murdered Nancy Weller and her two daughters, including 10-year-old Christina and 5-year-old Catherine, who he shot as she was trying to escape him. Sentenced to die in the electric chair, Davis spent Damn. his last days on death row at Florida State Prison in Stark, Florida, and went on to meet his maker on July 8th, 1999. His execution was completely botched, and witnesses say he was still alive after the power was cut. Alan Lee Davis remains to this day the last person whose sentence was carried out by electric chair in the state of Florida. For his last meal, Davis went with a mostly seafood-themed meal that included lobster tail, a half pound of fried shrimp, Ooh. and six ounces of fried clams. He also took half a That's loaf of garlic bread as a starter, meal. a plate of that french fries as picking, a side bro. dish, and then washed it all down with 32 ounces of A&W root beer. Root beer's That's the best. probably not the endorsement A&W wants. Teresa Lewis. In October of 2002, Teresa Lewis murdered her husband and stepson in order to cash in on a $250,000... I, okay. I don't get it. How do you have the guts to kill somebody, bro? Alright, guys. Today, I'm going to be killing my husband. Like, what? Life insurance policy. Lewis farmed the hit out to Matthew Jesse Schellenberger and Rodney Lamont Fuller, whom she had met at Walmart. Wow, Walmart does offer a lot of services. <laughs> Lewis let the hitman into her husband's trailer and tried to make the whole thing look like a robbery gone awry. Unfortunately for her, her husband wasn't quite demised when the police arrived, and deputies heard him say that his wife knew who did it. On the advice of her attorney, Lewis pleaded guilty, hoping for leniency. But she was sentenced by way of lethal injection anyway. She spent her last days as the only woman on death row at the Fluvanna Correctional Center for Women in Troy, Virginia. This sentence was finally carried out on September 23rd, 2010. For her last meal, Davis oh, opted for some American classics, no. including fried chicken, peas with butter, Dr. Pepper, and for dessert, apple pie. First of all, you lost me at the fucking... What'd you say? Adam, and you could say a lot. Three rice painting. Gacy's oh, shit. No, no, no. Women in Dr. Pepper. Yeah, you lost me at Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's the worst soda of all time. Tastes like medicine. Trash. And for dessert, apple pie. Ted Bundy. Oh, I know him. Ted Bundy, possibly the most infamous of criminals, confessed to 30 homicides committed between 1974 and 1978. His total victim count, however, is not known and is often believed to be much higher. 
Bundy, who's been played in the movies by the likes of Mark Harmon, Zac Efron, and Chad Michael Murray, would pretend to be injured or pose as an authority figure, like a police officer, before knocking his victims unconscious and then taking them to another location. Bundy was captured in 1975, but escaped twice before finally being put away for good in 1978. On February 10, 1980, Bundy was sentenced to the electric chair, which was carried out on January 24, 1989, at Florida State Prison in Bradford County, Florida. Bundy, probably having lost his appetite knowing what was in store for him, passed on the chance to have a special last meal. Really? Instead, he received the standard fare, which included steak cooked medium rare, eggs over easy, hash browns, toast with butter and jelly, milk, and... Are you guys a breakfast person? I'm not, I'm not really a... I hate, I hate breakfast. I'll be honest with you. I can't eat breakfast. Juice. Timothy McVeigh carried out the 1995 Oklahoma City bombing. His attack, which destroyed one-third of the Alfred P. Murrah Federal Building, took the lives of 168 people and injured God almost damn. 700 others. Police caught McVeigh by tracing the vehicle identification number of a rear axle found in the wreckage of the bombing. The part belonged to a rider truck that had been rented in Junction City, Kansas. Employees there gave a description to an FBI sketch artist, and that sketch eventually identified McVeigh, who had been arrested on an unrelated gun possession charge in Perry, Oklahoma. McVeigh was convicted on June 2, 1997, and sentenced to meet his maker 11 days later. He would spend the majority of his remaining days on death row in Terre Haute, Indiana. His sentence was carried out on June 11, 2001. For his last meal, McVeigh kept it simple. All he asked for was two pints of mint and chocolate chip ice cream. Okay. I, I, I just don't get it, bro. Sacco and Vanzetti were Italian immigrants and anarchists. In 1921, you they were convicted tell, of taking out GGs. a guard and a paymaster during an armed robbery in Braintree, Massachusetts, on April 15th of the previous year. Despite their numerous appeals being denied, Sacco and Vanzetti became famous worldwide. Legions of people believed them to be innocent, and protests were held all over North America and Europe, as well as in places like Tokyo, Sydney, Buenos Aires, and Dubai. Nonetheless, their sentences were carried out at midnight between August 22nd and 23rd of 1927. Over the years, evidence mounted in their favor, and in 1977, Massachusetts Governor Michael Dukakis said that they had been unfairly tried and convicted and that any disgrace should be forever removed from their names. Sacco and Vanzetti's last meal is recorded as being the simple menu of soup, Ew. meat, toast, and tea. What kind of super meat it was, unfortunately, is lost to history. Damn. By that picture, that shit Ricky Ray ass. Rector took the life of a man at a dance hall after a friend of his had been denied entry. Three days later, Rector agreed to turn himself in, but in a twist absolutely no one saw coming, he also took the life of the police officer who negotiated his surrender by shooting him in the back and then tried to take his own life with a pistol to the head. The Despite fuck? the fact his botched attempt had effectively lobotomized him, Rector was sentenced to lethal injection. Arkansas governor and future president Bill Clinton even returned home from the presidential campaign trail to oversee the execution, which was carried out on January 24, 1992. Nah, when it came time for his last meal, Rector requested steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and pecan pie for dessert. I'm not going to even say anything, bro. I... <laughs> All right. He finished everything except the pie. He told the guard he was saving it for later. On May 26, 1980, Stephen Wayne Anderson robbed the Bloomington, California house of a retired teacher, Elizabeth Lyman. When Lyman saw Anderson in her home, she screamed, prompting him to shoot her. Anderson, who was known to have admitted to taking the lives of at least eight other people, was convicted of the Lyman murder and sentenced on June 24, 1981. His sentence was carried out by lethal injection on January 29, 2002. When it came time for his last meal, Ew. Anderson requested two grilled cheese sandwiches, a pint of cottage cheese, a hominy corn mix, a pint of pie, cottage chocolate cheese? chip ice cream, and radishes. 
Oh, hell no, nah, bro. That's so whack ass shit. Ronnie Lee Gardner took a man's life during a robbery in Salt Lake City. Then in 1985, while being moved to a court hearing over that homicide, he shot and killed another man during an unsuccessful escape attempt. Gardner was sentenced by way of lethal injection, but due to a now eliminated quirk of Utah state law, he was allowed to opt for a firing squad instead, which he did. The sentence was carried out on June 18, 2010, at Utah State Prison in Draper. For his last meal, Gardner opted Ooh. for the surf and turf, that is, lobster tail and steak. He finished it off with apple pie and vanilla ice cream, okay. all while watching the Lord okay. of the Rings trilogy. Well, the trilogy. He's really trying to put off that execution. On December 29th, 1979, the life of the manager of a Florida strip club called the Velvet Swing Lounge was taken when three men robbed the club. There were no eyewitnesses to the shooting, but four years later, Angel Nieves Diaz's girlfriend told police that he was involved. Despite some credibility issues with the witnesses who testified against him, Nieves was convicted and sentenced to receive lethal injection. Nieves would maintain his innocence until his dying day which incidentally turned out to be December 13th, 2006, when his sentence was carried out at Florida State Prison in Rayford. Like everyone else on death row, Nieves was offered his choice of last meal, but he declined it. He was then served the standard meal given to those who had no special requests, Damn. but he refused to eat that too. Damn. Damn. Victor Harry Figuer was a drifter, and in the summer of 1960, he drifted into Dubuque, Iowa, where he rented himself a room at an old boarding house. Figuer went through the yellow pages, phoning doctors and telling them he was with a woman in need of medical care. Dr. Edward Bartles took the bait, and when he showed up, Figuer kidnapped him and stole his car. He was captured a few days later in Alabama, but by that point, he had killed Bartles. He was convicted in a federal court and sentenced. Despite a plea from the anti-death penalty governor How of Iowa, you just President somebody, John bro? F. Kennedy, who cited the brutality of the crime, refused to grant Fugere's request for clemency. Fugere spent his last days in the Iowa State Penitentiary in Fort Madison. His sentence was carried out on March 15, 1963. He would be the last person put to death in the state of Iowa. Fugere's last meal was about as simple as it gets. He had just one single olive with the pit wow. still in it. So what do you think? What would you want as your last meal? Shit, I would want some steak, lobster, shrimp, chicken, chocolate milk, root beer. Nah, I don't know. But what would you guys got have for your last meal? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, guys. My reaction is kind of dry right now because it's literally 3 in the morning. And make sure to like, subscribe, and we're one sub away from eating the hottest gummy bear on stream. Make sure to join my Discord server. The link will be in the description. And let's get it.